Good evening, I'm Macy Marie. We are in a severe weather alert day as snow heads toward our region tomorrow. Meteorologist Paige Noel joins us now with those details. Paige. Yeah, Macy, we are expecting to see a little bit of some snowfall tomorrow, but it'll start out as rain late tonight, early tomorrow, and then move into snow. We have been dry for the day, but you can see those gloomy conditions along our UVA Wise camera. We're also seeing much of the same story looking at downtown Whitesburg. But like I said, we'll see those rain chances increasing a little bit later tonight. Cloud cover, though, has been the name of the game really all day, and we are still looking at a clean sweep right now, but you can see those scattered rain chances out to our west. Those will be making their way into our forecast in just a few hours. Temperatures though, they're into the upper 30s to lower 40s. We'll start to see those drop throughout the night and into your Sunday. So we have issued a severe weather alert day. Good news is we're only at about a low. We are expecting some light snow Sunday evening with some light accumulation at Sunday into Monday. Another issue is going to be those slick roads Monday morning and we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. All right, thank you, Paige. And March 2nd is a familiar date for weather to most here in eastern Kentucky. Seven years ago, a tornado outbreak devastated the region. Four different tornadoes affected nine counties and two caused widespread destruction in West Liberty and Salyersville. The National Weather Service says the event featured the first EF3 or greater tornado in the Jackson forecast area since the Middlesboro, tor Middlesboro tornado in May of 1988 a day many will never forget. WYMT's Marianne Fletcher talks to people in McGoffin County who lived through the event and takes a look at how Salyersville has changed since that day. An unforgettable memory. It's probably one, one of the most devastating things that I've experienced in my, my career. One Salyersville Fire Department Chief Paul Howard says he hopes to never see again. The tornado is gonna be in that general location. And all the power lines, was across the streets. We couldn't manage to drive point A to point B. He says there was devastation everywhere you looked and that while a picture is worth a thousand words. Until you see an actual tornado or being in the middle of an actual tornado, it's uh, the television does not give it justice. McGoffin County Judge Executive Matthew Wireman says he remembers watching the tornado from his home. And I can remember seeing out my window a uh, lightning bolts coming out over top of the off the top of the mountains uh, where I live. Then driving out and seeing the aftermath. This was absolutely something that I don't think anybody in eastern Kentucky would ever have found. But in the face of tragedy, the small town persevered. If anything, it pulled this community together, creating a strong mindset to prepare them for the future. We're a small community, and in a disaster, we, we help each other a great deal. Debris flying through the air. Keeping a community prepared for a catastrophe. We are McGoffin. In McGoffin County, Marion Fletcher, WYMT Mountain News. McGoffin County now has three tornado sirens and one tornado shelter. They're in the process of putting in another. The search continues today for a missing Perry County man. WYMT's Lauren McCourt talked with officials about the difficulties they faced this past week. Saturday morning marked day six of the search for Danny Napier. We've been searching since last Sunday. Kentucky State Police believe he fell into the river sometime Saturday evening. Rescue squads and volunteers are searching in any way they can. Drones, uh, foot search, and water search. Recent flooding made the beginning of the search difficult. It's much more difficult. I, it was over 12 feet. It, the water is now down to 5 feet, which allows them to get boats out and start searching on the water. Just letting the water levels get down to where we actually could safely get boats on the water. Other rescue squads around eastern Kentucky are helping out as well. We've also got Floyd County Rescue Squad uh, they're in Brethy County coming up the river. They're hoping to cover close to 30 miles of the river. Unless we run into any kind of issues, we're going to try to be on the water most of the day. In case weather plays a part in delaying the search again. In Perry County, Lauren McCourt, WYMT Mountain News. The Kentucky Wildcats paid a visit to Rocky Top today. Sports Director Marcus Browning has those highlights and he joins us now. Marcus. Yeah, I may see a big game down in Knoxville this afternoon with more than just bragging rights on the line for Kentucky and Tennessee. The Vols looking for revenge following their 17-point loss to the Wildcats just a couple of weeks ago. We start off Vols up one first half. Jordan Bone, the nice move and the floater off the glass. Tennessee up three. Now they're up five. Admiral Schofield comes along the baseline 
And then the big man slam. Wildcats trail by seven. Tennessee led by 13 at the break. In the second half, UK down 16. Tennessee coughs it up. PJ Washington takes off with it. Jamal Baker, the toss to EJ on the move for the slam of his own. 13 minutes to play. Wildcats down 14, but the Vols maintain their lead. Grant Williams on the right wing splashes home the three. Tennessee up 20. And they get revenge. 71-52. Kentucky falls short. They fall behind in the SEC race and most likely miss out on a number one seed for the NCAA tournament. I'll have more on the Wildcats coming up here in just a few minutes. Macy. All right. Thank you, Marcus. A woman is dead after an officer involved shooting early this morning in Carter County. Kentucky State Police say they caught the call at 1130 Friday to a home on Dameron Mayo Road. Around 1.30 this morning, troopers found out a woman came near the home and shots were fired. The woman, whose name we do not know, was pronounced dead at the scene. We'll be right back after this break.